Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Myself Parag Jambulkar. In this video, we will see how to handle drop downs in Selenium. In previous videos, we have seen how to type any message in text field and also we have seen how to click any button in Selenium and also we have seen example for that. Now, in this video, we will see how to handle drop down. Now see, there are two types of drop downs. One is called a static drop down and another is called a auto suggestive drop down. So see, this is IRCTC website I have opened. Now see, if I click here, so I am getting this list, right? See here, I am getting this list. This is called a static drop down. And from this, we have to choose one value. Now see, this is goipbo.com website. Now see, when I click here, so nothing we are not getting any list right we are not getting any list so when i type something at that time i am getting this list this is called as auto suggestive drop down so this is auto suggestive drop down and this is static drop down you can see here you can see so when i click here i am getting some options right so this is called as static drop down and when here we type something so we are not getting anything so when uh, see when I am clicking here, I am not getting anything. When we are typing, at that time we are getting some list. So based on what the content, what the text that you are typing in that box, based on that we are getting this. This is called a auto suggestive drop down. In this video, we will see how to handle static drop down, and in some other video, we will see how to handle this auto suggestive drop down. Now see. So I have taken this example and. Here, I have written code to open this website, right? So, if I run this, so this web Chrome browser is open and this website is launched, right? Like this. Now, see, here, what we will do? Here, we will type something. Here, also, we will type something. We will choose one option from this. And in next video, we will see how to uh, choose one checkbox from this and we will click on search button now see so when i refresh this so see first thing that we are getting is this right this is this alert box that we are getting right so first we have to click on ok and then only we can proceed further right so we will click on this we will click on inspect here i am choosing this selector sub now see when I take cursor over here so this button is getting selected right so for this button now we have to create xpath directly we can copy from this also or we will type it now see we will create xpath for this so by using this button tag we will create button so we will take type is equal to submit let us see type is equal to submit Now see, we are getting two elements, right? We are getting two elements. Now see, from this, we will choose this one. So again, two. So we will put one round bracket here. So see, here we will put this round bracket. Now see, only one is getting selected and this is this, right? Here you can see. When I am putting here, I am clicking here. So this is getting selected, right? Now see, we will copy it. And in our code, we will use it. So driver dot find element by dot we are choosing by the xpath right now see in bracket we are providing that xpath now see what we want to do we want to click it right so here we'll put one comment for what purpose we have written this code so here we are going to click ok button now see will save it next once we have click on ok then what we have to do here see when i click here after that i am getting list right so first thing that we have to do is we have to click on this right now to click on this so we will find out xpath for this so again we will inspect now see so this is the code for this right when i am taking cursor over here so it is getting selected right so 
for this purpose we will write the xpath or you can write css letter code also i am writing here xpath now see so how can how you can write so input then add we will choose this so we will take this let us see single quote we will put in list in single quote double quote also you can keep now see we are getting two layer, two items right so we want one so that also will put in this round bracket and will provide one index let us see now that one element one element matching right and it is selected right that means what are the address that we have provided this is for this right now see we'll copy this and we'll write code for this so this is for what to choose to click on click on form right so here we write code so driver dot find element by dot x path here we provide that x path and what we have to do we have to click on it now see here we'll do that after this what we have to do we have to choose an option right so we have to choose option pune right so when i click here so i am getting the list and from this i have to type uh, choose pune we can type also that also you can do so see see pune we are getting right now see we have to select this pune right now i am creating x path for this pune junction so see i am right clicking on it then inspect now see so see if i take on this so it is getting selected right so we'll create take, uh, x path for this so see uh, we'll take from this span then add uh, we'll take this so i'm copying it let us see See, so three elements are matching now see i want to choose this pune only right so again we will use indexing for this purpose so if i take one so one element is matching right and it is selected pune right only one element is matching so now we will take it now we will copy to our code so what we are doing to select Pune. Now see, we'll write code for this driver dot find element by dot xpath. See, I'm writing xpath, but there are different locators also. That also we can use. And what we have to do? We have to click it, right? So that also I have done now see when i click here so i am getting this list right so we'll create xpath for this so we'll go to inspect so see when i take cursor here so it is getting selected we'll create xpath from this now see input uh we'll take like this we'll uh we'll use this let us see So instead of double code, we will make it single code. Now see so two elements matching, right? Two elements. So these both are getting selected. So out of this, I want to select second one, right? So we will try. So two if I am taking, so one element matching. So see this is getting selected, right? So now we will copy it. And here, right. Now see. This is for to select to click on two, right? So driver dot find element by dot x path, and here we'll write that x path. Here we'll click it. 
will click it okay so that thing also we have done now see next now see next we have to choose station right so suppose i am typing nagpur here and uh, that i am getting right so, i will create export for this nagpur so see i am right clicking on it go to inspect so see this code is selected nagpur right so we will create export for this now see from this text also we can create it so that will do text and this nagpur now see So see one element matching right so th this nagpur is getting selected so now i am selecting it and here we will use it so here what we are doing choose nagpur so driver dot find element by dot x path then here we will provide that and what we have to do we will click it okay so that thing we have done now see after that okay so once we have done selected nagpur then we have to select one from this right so suppose we want to select so see here it is general uh, suppose we want to select tatkal okay so see first what thing what we have to do we have to click here right the first thing that we have to do so to click here we have to find out x path for this so again i am inspecting now see if i take here so it is getting selected right so we will create x path for this now see so we can create based on this div add and we can copy this Now see, so that I am copied. We can also use contents if we don't want to write this much text. Now see, so one element matching, right? Means this is getting selected. Now see, I will copy this and I will type here. So see, what I want to do? I want to click on select now see again we will write driver dot find element by dot x path in double quote will mention that and we will select click okay so that also we have done after this what see once we click on this we have to choose that color right? so now we will create x path for this so see this is a code to select tatkal right so we'll create export for this now see span and uh, best way from the text we'll do that right so text is equal to and this will copy Now see one element matching right so see here we got it so we'll copy this and we'll write code here so see what we want to do we want to select tatkal right tatkal we want to select now see driver dot find element by dot x path here in double quote we will put that and what we want to do we want to click right so this thing we have done one more thing that we will do that we will maximize window when it is getting open so driver dot manage dot window dot maximize so this thing will do also we will do one thing that we will add some waiting time so we will do thread dot sleep for one second that will do and see when 
see uh, it is showing in red line so what we have to do see when i have taken cursor over here so it is showing add through the declaration see i am clicking here so the uh, exception is handled here now see so this thing i will add everywhere so we will get some time Now see, now we'll run it. Okay, got maximize. It is selecting this Hazrat Nizamuddin, but we do, we want Pune, right? So what we'll do? We'll change our code. Now see from which we have chosen this Pune. So from this code we have chosen, right? Now see. So that will change it. Now see. So from Pune we want to choose, right? So we'll do inspect. Now see we'll create export for this, right? So we'll use we'll take help of this text. So we'll write span here we'll write text. Text is equal to and we'll select this. And that will put in a single code. Now see one element matching, right? So it is getting selected. So we'll use this X path. So we'll change here to select Pune. So previously we have chosen that. Now we'll replace it. Now see, now we'll run. got open got maximize now see Pune is selected Nakur is selected and Tatkal also we got right so Pune Nakur and Tatkal so everything is getting selected so in this way we can select any value from the drop down so best way is to take help of this text right so we can create the x path by using the text likewise you can do this so it will correctly choose that particular value from the drop down so in this way we can handle drop down static drop down in selenium so in next video we'll select one checkbox and we'll click on search so friends i hope you like this video if is yes, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.